Okay, here we have 13.3 multiplication of matrices, advance. So it says solve for x and y. And it tells us that if you multiply these two matrices, you should end up with these results. So let's go ahead and multiply these two matrices. So first row times first column is going to be negative 5 plus a negative 6, which is going to be negative 11. Then first row times second column is going to be negative 5x plus 1y, which is just negative 5. plus negative 3 times negative 6. Oh, I wrote that in the wrong one. So then I end up with negative 4 plus 18, which is a positive 14. And then second or second row times second second row times second column is negative 4x minus 3y, which stays negative 4x minus 3y. And we know that this is supposed to equal this matrix here. So we can already see that the first entries here in the first column, they already match. Now what I have to do is I have to solve this system of equations where negative 5x plus y will equal 15, but then also negative 4x minus 3y will equal positive 31. And so then I can probably multiply the top equation by 3 using the elimination method. And so I'll get negative 15x minus 3y, or I'm sorry, plus 3y equal to 45. And then this will give me negative 19x. These will cancel. I'll get 76. And then if I divide both sides by negative 19, I get that x equals negative 4. And then if I go back and plug in x into any one of the equations, I'm going to plug it into the top equation. I get 20 plus y equals 15. So if I minus 20 on both sides, I get y equals negative 5. So then now I know the x value and the y value that I was asked um, to find. Okay. So it's just a matter of doing the multiplication and then setting each corresponding um, element equal to one another. So these already match, these already match, and then these two will create that system that you need so that you can solve for the two variables.